everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the beginner beanie, which is a very easy crochet beanie to work. It's worked in a super bulky weight yarn. Today in the tutorial I'm going to be using Woolies Thick and Quick, which is a wool and acrylic blend. Uh, has that number six there on the label. Uh, another option, if you don't have access to the Woolies, might be a Bernat Softy Chunky yarn. You'll see it also has that number six there in the label, which is what you're looking for if you want to use a different type of yarn. So you're going to need a super bulky weight yarn. You're going to need about 100 yards to make your beanie, so one full ball. You're also going to need an 8 millimeter crochet hook and uh, I'll have links to these items in the description of this video. You're also going to need a copy of the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. This is an easy beanie to work and as it is a beginner pattern I'm going to be spending a little bit more time explaining how the stitches and that are worked, even our most basic stitches. So if you're new to my channel or if you're not, welcome. And uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other free crochet patterns and beanie patterns, as well as new weekly stitch tutorials that you'll find here. Our pattern today is worked in rounds and we're going to work starting at the bottom or the brim of our beanie. The hat is sized to fit an adult head which is about 20 to 22 inches uh, around. If you would like to change the size of your beanie you're going to simply chain a foundation chain which I'm going to show you in just a moment to the desired uh, circumference and then uh, and then join just uh, there's no particular multiple needed just realize that when you work the decrease rounds for your hat they may not work out quite evenly or you may need to leave some of them out uh, depending on the size that you're making so to begin we're going to start by making a slip knot so taking our yarn I have my short end here my working end up top here. I simply cross it over, reach through the hole, pull my working end through and tight. We're then going to make our foundation chain. When you have your hook through that first loop, you want it fairly loose so that it moves up and down the hook easily. You're then going to start by working a foundation chain of 40 stitches. To make a chain stitch, you're going to yarn over, so bring your yarn over your hook and pull through the loop. Being careful not to pull it too tight because you're going to work into these. You're going to repeat that 39 to more times, so you'll have a total of 40 stitches. So that's one, then two, three, and you're just continuing to repeat that same thing, placing the yarn over your hook and pulling it through the loop until you have a total of 40. If you have to go back and count your stitches, you can do that by counting the V's that you see. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches. You don't count the loop on your hook. So continue to make chain stitches until you have 40.
once you have 40 stitches, being careful not to twist your chain. Now when I'm working, I like to work in the back bumps of my stitches because I can see them easily. So without twisting your chain, you're going to go all the way down to the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull it through the first stitch and then the loop that was on your hook. So that's how you join with a slip stitch. You should now have a nice ring in front of you. We're now going to work our first round and it will be a round of single crochet stitches. So begin by chaining one, yarn over and pull it through your loop. Your first stitch is going to be worked into the same stitch as joining, and it will be a single crochet stitch. So inserting, inserting your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. That's your single crochet stitch. You're now going to work single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around. So insert your hook under that, uh, if you're working the way I am, under that back bump, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the two loops. Repeat that all the way around being careful not to twist your chain and not to skip any stitches. When you are finished, you're going to want to have 40 single crochet stitches. At the end of your round one, this is what your work will look like. You're once again going to want to make sure that it's not twisted anywhere and you're then going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. So to join with a slip stitch you're going to insert your hook underneath the two top loops of your stitch. So at the top of each stitch you see this nice little V. You want to insert your hook underneath those top two loops yarn over, pull through, and pull it through the loop that's on your hook. That's how you join with a slip stitch. You're then going to chain one. Do not turn your work. We want to keep working in the same direction. We're now going to work eight rounds or of half double crochet stitches. We're going to begin by working into the same stitch that we joined in. To work your half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, inserting your hook under both of the top loops, yarn over, draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. That's your half double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that in each stitch all the way around. So yarn over into the next stitch, inserting your hook under both loops, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Repeat that in each stitch all the way around for round at the end of your round two, this is what your work looks like. At the end of round two, just like you did at the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. So insert your hook under both loops of that first stitch, 
yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. You're then going to chain one and repeat that round two. So half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, then join with a slip stitch in that first stitch and chain one. You're going to work seven more rounds of half double crochet stitches. So you'll want to have a total of eight and that will make the body of your beanie. And then you're going to meet me back here at the end of your round nine and we'll start the decrease in the top of your hat. At the end of round nine, this is what your work looks like. You have your round of single crochet and then eight rounds of half double crochet stitches. You've joined with a slip stitch in your first stitch. You can then chain one and we're going to work what we call our decrease rounds that kind of bring the top of our hat together. So what we're going to do for round 10 is we're going to begin by working a half double crochet into our first stitch, into the same stitches joining, and then into each of the next five stitches. So you'll have six half double crochet stitches all together. There's two, three, four, five, and six. You're then going to work a half double crochet two together over the next two stitches. To work your half double crochet two together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're then going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You'll then have four loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all four. And what you've done is you've taken two stitches and turned them into one. So that's our half double crochet two together. You're then going to repeat that all the way around. So one half double crochet stitch in each of the next six stitches. and then a half double crochet stitch, two together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all four. So again, go ahead and repeat that all the way around until you reach your first stitch once again. At the end of your round 10, you're going to end with a half double crochet, two stitches together, and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You should now have 35 stitches in your round. For round 11, we're going to chain one, half double crochet into that first stitch, and then into each of the next four stitches. So we're going to have five half double crochet stitches all together. You're then going to half 
double crochet two together over the next two stitches. We're now going to repeat half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around until you come back to your first stitch. At the end of your round 11, you should have a total of 30 stitches, and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one. For round 12, we're going to half double crochet into the first stitch and into each of the next three stitches. So you'll have a total of four half double crochet stitches. You're then going to half double crochet two stitches together. We're now going to repeat half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And then half double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around to your first stitch. At the end of round 12, you should have a total of 25 stitches. You're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch and chain one. For round 13, half double crochet into the same stitches joining and then half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. You'll have a total of three half double crochet stitches followed by a half double crochet two stitches together. You're then going to repeat that half double crochet into each of the next three stitches and then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of round 13, you should have a total of 20 stitches. You're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one. For round 14, we're going to half double crochet into the same stitches joining and half double crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that half double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of round 14, you should have a total of 15 stitches and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain one and for round 15, we're going to half double crochet into the same stitches joining and then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that half double crochet in the next stitch followed by a half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around the top of your beanie. You will notice now that the opening at the top of your hat is feeling quite small. I'm just going to keep working around here. At the end of your round 15, you're going to have a total of 10 stitches.
Once you're back at your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. We're then going to fasten off leaving a long tail. So leaving about 10 inches or so, you're going to just cut your yarn and then yarn over once more and pull it all the way through that loop and you can pull it tight. We're now going to close the top of our beanie and weave in at our ends. So you might have a short little thread down here at the bottom. What you're going to do is just take a yarn needle, thread the yarn through, and then on your beanie you're just going to weave that yarn through some of the stitches down below. You'll want to weave it in, weave it in for at least a couple of inches. If you're working with a smoother yarn or one that's more silky, you may want to kind of weave it in and out and around just to make sure that the end is secure. So after you've woven it through, you can then fasten it off or trim it off just like so. We're now going to go to the top of our hat and close it. So what we're going to do is turn our beanie inside out, pull that long tail through, and once again thread the long tail onto your yarn needle. Now around the top of your hat you're going to weave your yarn in and out, weave your needle through just the tops of those stitches. So we're just going in and out around the top all the way around. Once you come back to the beginning you'll have created a bit of a drawstring and you can just pull the top of your beanie closed. Now at this time I'd like to just work a little bit of a knot here up at the top just to make sure that it's not going to open up as I'm wearing it. You're then going to thread your end through a few of the stitches and once you feel like that end is tucked in enough you can then trim it off. Turn your beanie so that it is right side out. That's what the top will look like. You can either leave it as is or you can add a make a pom pom with yarn and add it or if you have a faux fur it's really up to you. But that is your beginner beanie. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, say hello down in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.